Hi YouTube, this is just a quick video just to let you know how to make a Zoolander cage more like a ferret nation. So as you can see I have my little kit here, her name is Yoshi and uh, when I first decided to get a ferret I really 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 wanted the ferret nation cage however they are extortionally expensive and I couldn't afford it so um, I found this Zooland Zoo Lux cage um, and that is is what it's supposed to look like it has uh, three shells on one bottom tray and I basically gave it a full length middle shelf and it's still got the two shelves its original two shelves there so um, this is basically similar to what you would have with a ferret nation cage except the doors on this cage are absolutely ridiculous they are so small um, you can't do much with them if you use the original layout that you get with it you can't reach to certain areas of the cage um, and even with the even with it being here um, there's not a lot I can do with getting the tray out as well which is really tricky So the other door is here and again this tray would normally be on this side of the cage meaning that once you've got your hand in you can't get up and over to get up to here so I moved it to this side and um, made a full length shelf with a hole for it to go down. So the shelf is actually made out of the rest of the um, uh, wiring or whatever it's called <laughs> that normally goes on top of the bottom tray um, all I did was just take that out instead of because obviously you know you got the bottom tray there that's fine and then put it on here and what I've done is I basically used zipped cables to put it in place Um, so I made this myself, it's not great, I'm not the best sewer, but basically used a fleece and stuffed it. So she has a base to go on, so she doesn't have to walk on the bars. Um, she's still a bit nippy because she's still little. <laughs> um, okay, no. Come on in. Um... Yeah, so that's basically what I did to make it into or similar to a ferret nation cage. Uh, if you want to know anything else, like the covers, for example, for the ladders don't come with the Zulux. You can't really find them anywhere, so I made them again myself. These items here are all from Ferret Culture or Culture. Um, really, really nice quality products that they make. Um, could take a while to be delivered though. The litter tray I made myself just out of a um, well, just plastic sh um, drawer really and cut it and added some polka dots to go with the rest of the theme. It's, as you can tell, it's a pretty polka dot in your face. Um, bowls, which luckily enough she hasn't tipped over yet, but she could if she really wanted to. So um, you're better off getting the ones that screw on and then the better fixed to the cage and yeah that's that's it for the Zulux um, another thing is when you remove this um, uh, these bars here from here obviously she could easily push away from those bars and move the shelf out so I've not very attractively just added these to the bottom and at the back as well just to stop it from coming out. Um, I might find a better way of adding those. Another really bad thing about the Zoolux with the doors is if you do get a litter tray, none of them fit through these doors. <laughs> Obviously this one in particular definitely won't. Um, so I have to actually pull out the bottom tray, drop the um, litter tray to the floor and uh, lift the cage up to get the tray out. So that was really awkward. So what I've had to do, another little thing that I did with this bottom ladder here, if you can see this hook at the top, it basically comes up like this, creating a barrier so she can't actually get down. So you're trapping her up the top 
um, and gives you more freedom to move around and do stuff in here. Um, I had to cut this ladder up a little bit because, again, with this cage, regardless of my modifications, um, when you're trying to get the ladder out, you've got to do that to lift it up. And that's just insane. So I basically just trimmed off a little bit of the top just so you didn't have to faff with that and she can't get that out either. Um, so again, that's another modification I had to make. So basically, just cause, just take the ladder out, um, bring the tray towards you and just empty it through the door, basically. And then obviously when you need to clean it, remove it by taking out the bottom tray completely. Um, that's it for my modifications for the Zulux. I've added this, I've just zip cut to hide it again. So if she's inside her cage, I can just play with her when she's inside without opening the doors. Um, yeah, so if you need to know any more information, if you're interested in doing this, then uh, by all means message and let me know. And I will tell you what I did to create this. Um, it wasn't easy, a little bit of money going into it, but in the end of the day, she's got a really good cage now. The, um, without risk of falling from a great height as well. The highest height she can fall from is from the top of this ladder to the bottom. Um, she was a bit unsteady with the ladders at first. That was my only concern, but you know, it's not hugely high. And to be fair, she climbs the bars anyway at that height and falls from them. So. Um, that's the only problem with this type of modification is that that one height there but we seem to be doing good so far so yeah let me know if you like it if you do or you don't uh, leave your comments below thanks goodbye